Hello everyone, this is Matt from Firewalls.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to configure a SonicWall firewall to integrate with Active Directory for user authentication. You can use this setup for authenticating remote VPN users or to implement single sign-on to identify users on usage reports by username. In this scenario, I have configured one Windows server and one workstation. A domain must be present and machines must be joined to the domain in order for this to work. And on the, on the AD server side here, you'll be able to see the, the user groups that I have created and then the remote users that I've specified in this group that we're authenticating against. Let's jump into the firewall and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is click on the Manage tab. We're going to go to the Users section. And we're going to change the user authentication method to Local Users plus LDAP and then click on accept. We're then going to click on the configure LDAP button. And here you're going to add your LDAP AD server. So you're going to click on add. We're going to specify the IP address of the Active Directory server. We're going to specify the port for LDAP. Next we're going to click on the login bind settings. We're going to give login name location in the tree. So login username for this example, I'm just going to use the administrator account because it's a domain admin. In order for this to work, the user will need to be a domain admin user. I'm going to specify the user domain and the directory that it, the user is stored and then specify the admin password. In the directory tab, we're going to specify the server domain. This will be the domain that all your workstations are joined to. We're going to click on auto configure. If you have any other user groups, then we need to add those here. Um, I have a user group for VPN users, so I'm going to add that in here as well. That way we can pull users within that user group. Um, and then click save. And then click apply. Okay. And when we go back in, the status should be green if the Sonic Wall can see the Active Directory server. Now, if you want the users to be pulled in locally and then only allow those users to connect, then you can enable this option here. If you want the authentication to happen transparently, then you can just leave this and don't import the users into the firewall. Um, the Sonic Wall will direct any authentication request to the server and then the server will accept or deny those requests. We're going to click the test tab and then select the server and then we're going to do a connection test. And that will be a success and then it will pull in the administrator account. You can also test the user authentication uh, to make sure that the user successfully authenticates. That way you can make sure that it works before you proceed with any further configuration for VPN access or single sign-on. And there we go, LDAP authentication succeeded. So if the, this user was able to log into the VPN then that authentication will be accepted and they'll be allowed to log into the firewall with their user account. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for further video tutorials and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. For all things firewall related, visit us at firewalls.com.